Hi everybody, this is Rob Keys, and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. Today I'm going to be unboxing something I really, really wanted to unbox last week, but due to a variety of reasons and time, I couldn't. Um, I am, of course, talking about the other big next-gen console, the Xbox One. Um, this came out in the States, North America, and UK, and a lot of other countries on uh, last Friday. November 22nd. Of course, Sony's PS4 came out in North America a week before on the 15th. Uh, I managed to do an unboxing video of that on, on the first day and get it up. There's a link right here if you want to see that video. Um, but this is Microsoft's slightly more expensive competitor where the uh, PS4 costs $400. The Xbox One, of course, costs $500. And uh, a big part of that, uh, as you learned today in the news, uh, and there's actually an article about this on GameRant.com now. Uh, but the Xbox One actually costs something like $470 to manufacture, at least the first run of the consoles um, were that expensive, which is very odd considering how big it is and how much space there is versus the PS4, which by all accounts has greater specs and is a lot more tighter tighter design there. So that's kind of very curious. Maybe something to do with the manufacturers they're using. I don't know. But like all console generations and life cycles, what's going to happen is there'll be new iterations of both consoles in the coming years for cheaper prices and they're... The, the technology will be cheaper. They might be able to make them f more efficiently. There's a number on this box. Um, it says 26 there. All right, so this box has been opened already, it looks like. I have not opened it myself. I just got it today from my good old FedEx man. There it is. Nice and green. The PS4 box, uh, I can bring it in after to compare, but it's kind of like a thinner more console shaped box, but I uh, got the handle up top. All right, let's open this bad boy. It's pretty heavy, which is to be expected. All right, some documentation and a disc right at the top. Uh, shh, Microsoft Confidential, this program is blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Uh, another one of the same disc. The Xbox One user guide in the back, it says, thanks. Thanks for taking time to get to know the Xbox One. You, your experiences with Xbox One are just a snapshot of the one new generation games... What? Of the one new generation games entertainment system. It's kind of weird phrasing. Uh, Xbox One is built for the future, and you'll see a whole lot more of that on November 22nd and beyond. It is now the end of November. <laughs> but, uh, hey, what can you do? Alright, very top. Just to kind of get a look there. The Kinect device, which is quite a bit larger than the PlayStation 4i, which you can buy separately for 60 bucks, but it's also a different technology. This uses IR beams and stuff to, to better track your movement in any sort of lighting. Dusty. Uh, it's also a little bit bigger than the uh, Xbox 360 Kinect. It's very heavy, so it's not going to lose its spot. It looks like it's got uh, it's designed so you can put it on different surfaces, maybe? I don't really know. The cord is also very thick. All right, so that's that. Let's dig to the next layer. Cardboard. More, more. Oh, wow. There's something in here. It's really heavy. Okay, so this box where the Kinect was sitting in, right here, this opens up, and we got the uh, Xbox One official headset. It's very lightweight, um, just like the 360 packaged headset. It's got the earpiece on the one side and the flip-down mic, and a uh, very thin cable. Very nice. Uh, quick setup guide. Some kind of thing about wires and another user manual, user manual stuff. Excuse me. Uh, oh, this looks like the controller. We'll get to that in a sec. A standard, very short power cable. Same thing you can use in your PCs. And, of course, it plugs into the power brick, which, even though the Xbox One is significantly larger than the PS4, the power brick is on the outside, like the, pre like the Xbox 360, which kind of sucks, but if it keeps the console cooler, uh, I'm, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. This is an uh, HDMI cable. Looks like a six-footer. So it comes with that. PS4 also comes with HDMI cable, so that's good. And uh, here, the PS4 uh, DualShock 4 controller. Sorry about that. This headset uh, keeps shutting off and this audio is coming in. It's weird. Maybe I can change that in the settings. Uh, the DualShock 4 controller for the PS4 is significantly approved over the uh, DualShock 3 on PS3. And the same can be said about the Xbox One controller, which is very light, just like the P DualShock. 
It's got the uh, battery pack there. Takes double A's. PS4 has its own built-in batteries, just like it did in PS3. Um, the uh, Xbox 360 always had that stupid battery pack that kind of stuck down. Uh, this is now built in, so it's a lot more streamlined, doesn't get in your way. Very slick. Both Sony and Microsoft did a fantastic job upgrading their controllers, but keeping the core values of uh, what was great about them. Got some uh, Duracell batteries, double A's in there too. All right, that's the top layer. Now for the uh, the grand showcase, just so you can kind of see the inside. It's packaged pretty well, foam on the outside. As brackets and it's got like a foam bag around the actual console. Oh my god, it's heavy. It's a beast. I'm doing it. Okay. That's so oh, sorry if you can hear all that noise. I'm making a mess in this room. I'm just gonna take the tape off. Oh crap, it is big. Alright, taking it off. Just kind of get a look in the back there. See that? All the ports. We got a pair of USBs, uh, Ethernet, of course. You got uh Oh, you yeah, got the two HDMI's, of course, because you can plug in your cable, or even you can plug in the PS4 if you want, and play it through uh, the Xbox One. That's always a big funny thing when we, when we found that out. Got the optical audio in for your headsets. Uh, IR out. And this is the uh, Connect proprietary plug, and that's your power. So pretty straightforward stuff. Very easy to set up. It's surprisingly light for its size. Here's the top. You can see the Xbox One logo right there, and a lot of dust. Everyone loves dust. And a big-ass vent along the top. Oh yeah, there's a vent along the back as well. The whole sides are ventilated. Both sides are. Uh, and then we got the front. There's a USB... No, that looks like an external hard drive. Or a USB slot on the side here. Um, yep. And then on the front, it's very simple. You just got the touch power button and then you've got the uh, sliding disc tray with the eject button on the side so it's a very straightforward design very square it looks <laughs> and is shaped like a VCR or uh, I guess a more modern DVR PVR whatever you use to record your TV um, yeah so there it is that is the Xbox one so I'm gonna plug it in as soon as I can to download the uh, required day one update and then I will um, Try to get playing some games as soon as possible. I haven't uh, had a chance to play any of the Xbox One launch games from my house, and uh, I upgraded to get the you know Assassin's Creed 4 and Call of Duty, and I really want to get Battlefield as well on the Xbox One or PS4 to try that out because I do play a lot on PC. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see me do more, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment on your thoughts about the PS4 uh, or Xbox One or even the Steam machines which are coming next year, or if you still play the Wii U. That's awesome. There was a good game that came out for last week, finally. But uh, here, I'm not here to bash. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.